going to want to pay attention to the front end of educating them in the beginning. I have a question for Governor Corbett. Now, at the end, what are you doing with our young? And as Pennsylvania figures out what they're going to do, because Supreme Court, because Supreme Court said that keeping a juvenile in jail forever is unconstitutional. When is, when is Pennsylvania going to do something about it? Young captives. Who are they to lock away your life? Who are you to do what you have done? That wasn't right. We all make mistakes. We all make a difference too. But we all have a light, even you. We all have a fight, whether good or bad, big or small. It is within us to contribute to our community, even if our first steps made us fall. Each of us has potential. Each of us can grow. Don't let them tell you things they don't even know. My mama said an ounce of prevention, like education, is better than a pound of cure. Who are they to lock away someone's light when they can't even cure? Even when you shattered someone's dreams, they said it wasn't right. We got confused kids stuffed in fused boxes, no way to get out, no opportunity for change, no path for remorse, no actions, just more death of life, of course. Mistakes happen. Some of them might not have even been mistakes. But who, but are they 100% sure that not one of those youths deserves a break? Who you were then, just a kid, who you are today, they got your voice muzzled in a box and they won't let you say. We don't have finite knowledge, we can't fortune tell, can't see who's rehabilitated and who's not behind a jail cell. What is part of social action? What if part of our community growth is to come face to face with what was taken and create a retributive oath? What if you're the one that's needed to identify the change? What if you can remember what was breeded in you so that a younger version of you won't do the same? I ask who's going to change as we're pointing kids at fingers? Who can kids blame? Did we do everything we were supposed to do way before the lifetime jail cell? Everybody knew that boy needed help. Everybody in the neighborhood could tell. Okay, let me settle down and redirect and reflect. Let me ask these kids that are in these box boxes. Who was your mentor? No answer. Who did you trust? No answer. How did you build a plan for your life when your life became too much? No answer. Do you still laugh in there? Do you still play? No answer. Will they let mama touch your face on visiting day? Do you feel loved on Thanksgiving without meddling questions from uncle? Do they let you daydream or do they protect you from more violence? Do they know that you're more than what you see? No answer. Do they know your inner fight? You know the demons that you don't tell me about that keeps you up tossing and turning at night. I know you're grown now, but some things are still the same. It's the same. Like, do they know you get cold easily and need an extra blanket when it rains? Do they know that your heart still beats for a great romantic love or an intense fear? Or that your eyes can't be reconstructed? They're still human. They hold tear ducts to produce real tears. You were just a kid then. Who are they to lock away your light? No answer. It's okay, baby. I'm here. I'll fight. Woo! Woo! That was Sister Fatima with words, words that we all need to hear from the young people that got.